morning guys and welcome to a new vlog it's a tuesday and today the weather is actually quite decent because there's actually some sun streaming in if you guys can see that um i've just ended the last vlog and i'm starting a new one and i was just saying in the last vlog how i've really like fallen out of love with the vlogging actually this someone is doing construction in the apartment right above us so if you hear that that's what it is um and the thing is i don't think i've fallen out of love with it i've just gotten comfortable not doing it so when i have to do it it becomes like a chore so it, i've just made it a habit not to do it i don't even know if i'm making any sense but yeah i'm trying to just be picking up the camera more often if i'm leaving the house I'm, i go with my camera or just you know like to get back into that habit because vlogging is a it's a lifestyle and you actually have to keep reminding yourself okay i'm vlogging you know and and looking at you know what can i vlog when i'm here what can i do when i'm here like that so i'm trying to get back into that habit i guess let's say so it's a tuesday happy tuesday these are the best braids i did i, I mean the best not less braids i feel like i've ever done i did these um before i went to the coast and i did them at a salon called beauty space and i really think that they did a fabulous job um i don't think they're gonna last long but for the long that they're gonna last <laughs> the length of time i really really like them beauty space they do the best lines i i didn't think that they could do like really good knotless braids i was pleasantly surprised because i usually go to them mostly for um conros lines they're really good at that like really really good at that anyways um yesterday i had a pretty busy day i was trying to schedule all my um joanna k cosmetics content because i find it much easier to work or rather like when i schedule content for the whole week for joanna k cosmetics i feel like i'm now able to move on to focusing on um other things so yeah, I'm the one who handles my own social media for Joanna K Cosmetics. It's something I really enjoy. I think I have a love-hate relationship with it because on one hand, I really, really, really enjoy it. And then some I go through seasons where I'm so uninspired and I just don't enjoy it at all. So, and I feel like that season has been with me for a really, 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 really long time. But anyway, um, I started scheduling content yesterday. I scheduled all the posts for the feed, and I think I did like three stories, three stories for what three days? So I want to or four days. So I want to do for the remaining um, two days of the week. So now I just close that chapter. So that now it's just waking up and posting stories that are already pre-done. That's a hack, by the way. If you have a business and you're managing the social media or you're a social media manager um like sit down allocate like three hours per week on a monday or a sunday if you work on sunday don't i don't advocate for that but monday monday is a good time monday morning sit down write out your social media plan for the week and create all the content for the week you can use apps like later to schedule um feed content and then they just post it for you whatever you're doing whether you're asleep whether you're drunk whether you're i don't know whatever it is that you could be doing that stop you from posting it will post for you and then stories also it doesn't post stories but stories are easy because once like you've created the stories it's just a matter of posting which is so easy it can take you like two seconds to do that so i highly recommend that if you have a, a business and maybe you kind of struggle with that go ahead and do that once if you could do it like two weeks ahead in advance perfect like that's really perfect because sometimes and yeah you don't just you just don't have that willpower to post anything my god i have gone through these seasons so I highly recommend the schedule so i just want to finish the last two um what do you call it the last two scheduled uh i want what am i saying guys this one is distracting me i want to edit the last two but batch eh, batches of stories for um 
Friday and Saturday we don't post on Sunday and then at least I'll free myself up to do other you know to engage in other things I'm back here guys I've actually had a pretty pretty productive morning I feel like I'm kind of crushing it this week <laughs> Mm, baby so now i actually want to film this a uh, gordon's video that i have to film uh we're filming content for wild gene day which already passed but there's still some content that we're meant to film for it and my video is supposed to go up on the 25th today is 22nd but then i have to film the content and then send it in for approval so that now by 25th it's actually like ready to go um and there's actually a giveaway on that post i don't know i think by the time this vlog goes up the giveaway will ha already have ended but i'm just gonna sh um, Nini, show you guys that you feel kim now though on the what guys are gonna win although it's incomplete so this is what is up for grabs the flowers honestly are kind of dying i need to like this like throw them out so you'll get a bottle of gordon's pink um you'll get uh what else um there, there are some macaroons here um with the flowers actually it looked really nice now it's just that i've really distilled the whole thing but uh yeah there's gonna be a giveaway on that post so right now what i want to do is just do a quick bit for now to film the video so that i just edit it and send it out today i'm listening to the her album her h e h e h you remember those kids that it's not h it's h um i'm listening to the ha album which is it yeah so i'm just gonna skip through this whole part there are actually some guys in our house fixing our fridge right now our fridge has broken down again the first time it broke down we got a guy to come fix it this guy charged us six thousand five hundred to fix it he said that there was an element that wasn't working so you what he had to get a spare part we never even like looked at the spare part before he installed the spare part so me actually don't know whether he did anything charged us 6500 to fix it and then a few weeks later it's spoiled again so we've got a now different guys to come and um come and have a look at it because you we don't want our food to go bad it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me i want to speak my mind and tell you how i feel it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me please just look at me i'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily you always know which buttons you should push baby I'm done getting ready. I've even taken a photo. This memory card has no space. It's about to cut me off. Okay, guys, I had to switch to my phone. It cut me off eventually. So I finished getting ready. I was saying I even took like a photo, sprinkled it on the ground. <laughs> so now what I want to do now is film what has made me put on this makeup, which is the Gordon's video. So let's go ahead and do it. I don't, I rarely ever film in my room because I still haven't figured out the situation because the window is what's right in front of me but then this is what would be my background which i don't want this to be my background i just i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's just not so cute so usually i'll film in the sitting room but then that's not always so comfortable because like sometimes my sisters are working in the dining room so it's a bit awkward for me to just go and i'm just like hey guys so i got this hair from sujui who and who and such so i need to the thing is i haven't actually dedicated time to making filming in my room work so i think that's something that i need to do um, yeah but anyways let's go film i actually made an order um from carrefour which came 
for the things i need because the cocktail i'm making is very specific it's called a ruby kula ruby kula it's very specific like each person was assigned their own cocktail so i didn't have half of the ingredients and then let me ask you guys is Tony, yani tangawizi, Tony tangawizi. Is it ginger ale? Because that's what I want to use as ginger ale. Okay. So here's my setup. It's actually a really simple cocktail. I'm gonna do 50 ml of the Gordon's London Dry in here, 100 ml of this. So I'm actually just gonna measure two of these to put in there. Then you're supposed to top up with ginger ale. This is my ginger ale, and then I garnish with um, strawberries. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. Like when we first met, oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're my baby. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. All of your love, I can't fake it. When I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, hey. This feeling is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move. The cocktail is delicious, you guys. I think I'm gonna put a link so that you guys can follow the steps i followed it's actually on the gordon's website so i'll put a link for you guys to try although i think i've explained it's so easy but it's actually so nice if and only if you like sweet cocktails if you don't like sweet cocktails this one is pretty sweet but really nice so you just need cranberry juice stony and gordon's london dry gin so i'm happy i've done that i was really putting it off i was really really putting it off and i'm happy i've done it because now i feel free it's gonna take a few minutes for me to edit and i move on with life actually once i edit no i still have other stuff to do i actually have so much editing to do that's what i need to sit down and just work on now <laughs> 
guys i took off my makeup oh this mask is so milky i took off my makeup and i'm just um <clears throat> doing a mask my skin is doing some weird things it's breaking out weirdly and i don't know why it's just my acne actually i know why it's just my acne so this is the mask i'm doing the garnier skin active tissue mask even and matte instant radiance and mattifying mask one mask equals one week of hydrating active and even an, an oily skin should i really be using this mask i've just read that it's for oily skin and i don't have oily skin Jana, what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing this mask is actually for oily skin and it's supposed to mattify the skin this should not be on my face right now guys why did i not read the instructions <laughs> i actually got sent a package by gani i'm gonna show you guys with some products they want me to try out but just let me finish masking with this mask that isn't a mask for me and then i'll show you guys those products this is a really interesting mask I'm really wondering whether all this is actually gonna sink into the skin because it's kind of a lot like a lot of product okay you know what i'm done i'm just gonna wipe the rest off because um yeah we don't have all day whatever has entered the skin has entered whatever hasn't entered wasn't meant to I actually did this mask because my skin has been looking so boring and dull and I was so excited because I just happened to have this mask that you know is for brightening skin except that it's not for my skin but anyway once it was on it was on I wasn't gonna waste it I rarely bring product down to my neck nowadays because my neck has become so sensitive or there's a product i used a couple of times that just like really reacted with my neck so now i'm just a bit scared of putting anything on my neck so unless it's moisturizer like even this mask i didn't take the juices down because mm -mm -mm. some jojoba oil I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I love that song. X. I might leave the house later, that's why I'm laying my edges. Because I don't just lay my edges to sit in the house. I might leave later, so might as well. I'm not gonna wear makeup again. Absolutely not. But at least let me lay the edges. Look at these earrings, you guys. I really don't know why I'm holding on to them so much. They've chappered, yani, as in <laughs> they were once gold and now they're not. But I'm still wearing them. I'm still insisting. And I don't know why I'm still insisting because this look really bad. Like if someone comes close to me, they'll just be like, honestly, Joanna, I'll even offer to buy you new ones because no. Because why? Because what was the reason? <laughs> now I'm just going to sip something. Packs of the job, eh? You can wake up and film a Gordon's cocktail at 8 a.m. And I mean... You can't throw it away. That's wasteful. And we're not wasteful, so. Good morning from the really, really poor lighting in the kitchen. I'm very sorry. Okay, it's gotten a bit better. It's gotten a bit better. Update, we got our fridge fixed. So, what the, the guys who came to fix our fridge said is that air cool air usually moves from the freezer down to the like to cool the 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 fridge part and because our freezer was on like the maximum kabisa like it was getting like ice was getting blocked in the place that the 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 cool air is supposed to go down to the fridge i don't know if that makes sense and i think they were right because every time like this this has happened to this fridge so 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 many times and every time you just turn it off for some time 
and turn it back on it would start working so i guess that the ice that was stuck in that place was defrosting and then it started working again so they charged us 1500 for that i think i told you guys the other guy who came mm -hmm. the issue was still the same but this guy told us it was an element that wasn't working and he fixed it i don't know what he did i suppose he turned it off for a long time and he started working again i don't know you know what i'm choosing to believe that there was actually an element that wasn't working and he charged us six thousand five hundred for that so yeah but the guys if you see me wearing the same clothes in in the, the same weekly vlog i haven't changed mind your business hmm? <laughs> Because honestly, I don't change my home clothes that often. Like now, maybe this sweater, maybe I'll change the top, but the sweater, I'll wear it every day. Um, actually, I'm making some breakfast, so I'm making some sausages. This is a hack, by the way. Like when you buy a pack, and I got this from someone on Instagram. They sent me a DM um, with this hack that instead of like keeping your. Oof, like for you to be able to keep your sausages for longer you freeze them because actually sausages get spoiled really quickly but then you would like divide them into batches of three i'm a batches of two i'm a batches of four however many batches you actually like eat at a time and then you wrap them in foil and freeze them so you can just like boil them in those batches i'm having a simple breakfast um sausage and bread with marmalade and oh, that's usually a really nice combo to me then there's just a slice of cake left over from father's day i think i might eat that oh there's also this pineapple tea i want to put you guys on okay i'm so sorry for the light it's really pathetic it's so pathetic this tea yeah? pineapple i don't know if you guys can see it pineapple tea uh, my mom went to visit someone who made this tea then when we went home she made this tea and then when i came back i was like okay let's also do this so you boil the peel of the pineapple like don't throw it out don't miss not waste it but okay let me just tell you about the tea um you boil the peel of the pineapple um with water and ginger fresh ginger not um ginger powder but i guess if you have ginger ginger, ginger powder is what you have you can use that and then you put like a bit of sugar a bit of majani let it all boil and then boom it's so good <laughs> it's so 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 good so we had some pineapple peels that we had actually frozen because we used those pineapples so kitambo and they've just been sitting in the freezer and yesterday i just was hit with the urge of having the pineapple tea so it was really 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 good i don't have any measurements measure with your eyes because yeah guys there's this mix i usually um listen to while working and i watch it live because when you watch it live there are no ads so this is it it's called lofi yeah just search lofi lofi girl and then watch it live like it goes on for hours and there are no ads it's just calming and relaxing music to work to i'm not to sleep to even once i think this is a sleeping one let me see yeah beats to sleep or chill but it's also nice for for working okay so this is the work i have <clears throat> to do today i'm editing this hug even hair um week video that's really 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 nice i want to edit it and submit it so that i can post it um my breakfast is here and can we just agree that when you slice when you cut your bread like this it tastes better <laughs> and then the bits are going so yeah let's get to work okay i've decided to watch a vlog i really like eating when i'm like watching something so i'll prepare what i have to eat and then i can't even eat before i've pressed play on what i'm watching so <laughs> i'm watching a vlog um one of lydia dinga's vlogs i'm a bit behind i haven't caught up in a minute so. then i'll get to work <laughs>
guys happy monday i haven't spoken to you guys since i don't even know when last week i am looking a bit disheveled but anyways we're from isli we just got curtains for our sitting room um now we're going to town i was watching a video today um for i don't know if you guys follow her she's called Mag maggie Mwende and she, I was watching her house tour and she mentioned that she got a lot of her light fixtures from Luthuli Avenue so we're gonna go there and just see what they have essentially window shopping but if we actually see something we like then we're gonna get it when I say we am here with my sister and so we've gotten curtains and I don't know if you guys I don't even think I've ever told you guys here on the vlog but I've told the people who follow me on Instagram that when I bought my the blinds for my room um, they were really really long like they were like overflowing or touching the floor they were too long and then when I got my curtains I got them in the right measurement so now when I installed my curtains they, they, they were shorter than my blinds so today at least I managed to take the blinds back to Eastleigh for them to to be shortened so I'm hoping now when I install them it's gonna be okay I hope now they're not too short Amma they're still just a bit longer than the curtain because ah that's really gonna be annoying <laughs> but uh, we got some really nice curtains I'm gonna show you guys when, when we reach home uh, yeah I don't know I didn't vlog when we're in Isli I just I've now it's when I remember to vlog I'm going to put um, some information on where we usually get our curtains it's in max shopping mall easily i'm gonna put like a phone number and the location in the description box down below in case anyone is looking for curtains it's where we've gotten all our curtains since um like for the rooms blinds the one for the kitchen all of them that's where we've gotten our curtains so i'm gonna show you guys um i'm gonna leave a link sorry not a link it's not a link it's a, just some info so right now we are headed to Luthuli. You see what's up. Eh? That's so nice. How much is that? That's overly affordable. But they are strange. Me, I think these people will get from places like Luthuli. So let's see. Let me show you. Look, but this for the sitting room no what, for the dining yeah. Cindy, oh, sitting room i'm a bit confused yeah i'm not sure yeah. okay now yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. nice yeah. hey let's bounce how much are you have now guys are really pleasantly surprised there's a lot of which one how many does it have yeah. Oh, this uh, big a gold. Five, yeah. It's not so small, actually. Yeah, not. But I don't like the gold, personally. You got it. Take this one. And we're gonna match so well. Okay, I want to hang my blinds and uh, we're hoping for the best because if they're just even a bit off in terms of length, I'm really hoping they fit perfectly, then I'll be happy with that. I really don't enjoy hanging curtains at all. What you gotta do, what you gotta do. I actually entered my room at to go shower. Then I saw, I came, I had forgotten that you have no curtains on right now. Ah. Anyways, let's do what we need to do. This is how I left things, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah.
I feel like they might be too short, but you know what? Too short is better than too long. Way better. God, I'm so happy. Like they're still slightly longer than the curtain itself, but you know what? I prefer that than them being longer than the curtain. So like this doesn't bother me. Like this for me is good. I'm happy. Yes, finally. You know, now the cab blind used to hang down there and I hated it so much. Let me hold this a bit. I hated it so much because the blind was peeping below the curtains but now you know what ah, I'm happy with I'm really happy with that length now let's I want to take a shower let me turn the camera um, I want to take a quick shower and then I we do the ones for the sitting room because you know those ones uh, they're not they don't have it's just a different style of hanging them so so I just want to take a really quick shower and start on my skincare and then I go hang the I'm gonna hang them with my sister, the ones in the sitting room. They're looking a bit different from how they looked in the shop. In the shop they were giving more of a beige colour. But now like when we've gotten here and hung them up, they're giving green and we have blue couches. Like it's it's not that it's clashing. But let's just wait and see when they are up. Once they're up, we'll make a decision. Well, there's no decision to be made. The money has been spent. So even if we don't like it, we have to live with it and we have to learn to love it. So fingers crossed that it actually just looks good and goes well with, you know, the rest of our furniture. Fingers crossed. Uh, we left our light fixtures, the ones that we bought. We're actually in the Uber um in town we're go gonna go to luthuli i think i told you guys then on our way to luthuli we just spotted a car shop that had lights i'm actually gonna um leave the details in the description box down below i i wouldn't say they're cheap cheap um once the guy comes to install the lights tomorrow um i don't know you guys can tell me whether we're going wide or whether we we got a fair price because the light fixture we got for the sitting room we bought it at i think 11k and the one we got for the dining, which is really beautiful, we got it at 13k. Um, I think I'll end this vlog tomorrow so that I have time to show you guys the installation. So the, a guy from the shop will now come with the light fixtures and do the installation for us tomorrow. So I'll show you guys that and I'll show you guys the, the, nini, the fixtures um, tomorrow. But for now, <laughs> let me show up because I feel dirty. So, so um this is the color you, you guys can see like it's it's green i don't know whether you, it's picking up on camera but it's like a light green and our couches are blue so we're gonna hang them up and just see also that's the head of our blind so we're hoping that the curtains will be <laughs> Thank 
this is one of the this is one of the things you know. So this is the one shortly and so we are wondering what you think. The dinner, the steak, potatoes. This is chicken from last night and a beetroot salad also from last night. Oh, it's fogging up my iPhone and kombucha. We are not able to hang our curtains because we don't have runners. So we're gonna have to hang them tomorrow. Unfortunately, so annoying because we actually wanted to hang them today. Honestly, if you buy today, you have to hang it today. You see how it looks today. But anyways, we'll hang tomorrow. The guy who's doing the fixtures will also come tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna end today's mini part here and catch you guys tomorrow. This one is gonna look so good, isn't it? Both of them. The fixtures are done. I didn't really record him doing it because I feel like that would have made him so uncomfortable. But this is on for <laughs> this is a mess there. But this is on for the we got for the dining room. It looks so good, so so good. Um, and then what I know this is the one we got for the living room. I'm really wow. happy, like they look so good, they're so warm, and, and they're just making the space look really nice and cozy. So, guys, like I said, I'm gonna put a link not a link, the info for this. The, the guy who came to install them has charged us 3,500 um, to install them, which again i don't know if i've been concord or not but uh, <laughs> i'm happy i'm really happy we also bought the bulbs there these are edison bulbs so they said they are i don't i didn't know what edison bulbs are but yeah nice guys now we are encountering a new challenge that we never thought about because i don't know what we we're thinking when we mounted the tv but then it's not in the center because the socket is actually there in the corner in line with the light fixture but then we decided to put it there and now it's just gonna disturb us so much so i don't know if you guys i don't think you can see what i mean but I, get, I think you can kind of see like the light fixture is in the center and then the tv is so much to this side like they're not aligned but it's okay guys i'm vlogging on my phone because i'm just too lazy to remove what's on my sd card i feel so bare like my neighbors can just see me because our blinds are down we bought some runners in the supermarket they did fit so we have to get more runners like <laughs> anyways i was gonna clean today but guys you know we've never gotten a mama safi like to come and clean our house because you know like we've we've been managing so far i would say we've been managing but today that's not my portion i, I can't i feel so um i just feel really really overwhelmed we're launching our new and revamped website that's gonna have um international shipping we're launching it this friday so i have so much work surrounding that on top of that tomorrow we have a joanna k cosmetics shoot so i actually have to go home today to collect my lights i've still never collected them and then also hey there's actually a lot going on my parents are moving house um this weekend so i have to finish all my work actually from thursday so tomorrow is kind of like my last day of work so i have to like try and get everything done by thursday so that when thursday comes like between thursday like for a whole week I, i'm i'll just be off so anyways all that is to say <laughs> that we've gotten a mama safi and um she's on i think she, she she should come in the next maybe like one or half an hour i did like the pre-clearing you know as I don't know africans black people like you have to do like a pre clearing slash cleaning kind of 
before the person comes to clean you know <laughs> so she's gonna clean my room although i've cleared it up i had every intention of cleaning it i even put her pick in the toilet then i was just like mm -mm -mm. she'll also help us to wash the dishes the kitchen and then this like the lounge the sitting room dining room um i feel like yeah that's really gonna i'm gonna relax once that's done that door is so creepy like i'm in the house alone and it's just doing that anyways guys so i think i'm actually gonna end this vlog here um check the description box i hope i remember to put all the info for everything i've talked about in this vlog in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you tomorrow but for you guys it's not tomorrow for me it's tomorrow for you guys maybe it's next week Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.